Hey y'all, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to my haul video from my trips to the local indoor flea markets. Did get some great stuff, and I hope you all think so too. So the first place that I visited is right around the corner from my house. All I have to do is literally go down a main stretch of road, make a right, and just go up the road a bit, and it's right there. So I spent $94 on everything you're going to see from here. So let's go ahead and check out what I got, shall we? I got this really nice mid-century gold deer. I'm not sure who makes it. I think it's like a dime store. Not a dime store, but like something you'd have bought at Woolworths or something back in the day. But I know that people like their deer, so I went ahead and picked this up. I got all three of these birds here for one price, and I got 10% off. No, I'm sorry, 20% off. They're really, really nice. They say Made in Japan on them. This one does, anyway. has a Japan sticker. That, I don't know what that is. A canary, maybe? I know this one's a blue jay. It's a, either a blue jay or a bluebird. Not sure, but that one also says Japan. These guys are perfect. No damage whatsoever. Well, maybe a little bit of paint chipping on the edge, but that's normal. But the flowers are still intact on those. This one, I believe, is Royal Copley, and look at the colors on that. Great, great bird. Whoops, knocked over something already. So this is a purple swung vase. So sorry about that, the ticket was getting in the way. So this is a purple stretched or swung vase. I did not realize it until I got home that there's a small little chip right there. But if you turn it to the back, you're not even going to see it. So I couldn't leave that behind. You guys saw in the video that I picked up these really awesome 30s, 40s curtain tie backs in gold and blue. I just, I thought those were awesome. And I know that people who are restoring older homes want the original hardware. So I went ahead and grabbed those because those were a really good price with a discount. I did get some vintage valentines, but we will come back to those, and I'll show them to you. I don't know that many companies are giving stuff away like this anymore, so I knew this had to be a little bit older. It's a Schmitz Blue Ribbon Bread Comb. It does say made in the U.S. So items like this, I just plan on putting in my junk jars, or my treasure jars, whatever you want to call them. I did get a safety razor by Gillette. I'm going to clean this up. I have some shave mugs downstairs that I want to pair with razors and maybe a pack of blades because they each have shave brushes. So if I can get razors at really good prices, I can offer the, uh, the cup, the brush, a pack of razors and a razor blades, excuse me, and then a razor for a really good deal. So on the hunt for some razors for those cups. This is an old celluloid, um, I was about to say a pocket watch, it's a pocket comb. Really, really cool. I don't know if I'll be able to open it up for you guys. Maybe I will. Oh, here, here we go. Look at that. Like a little travel piece. I thought that was really cool. So that'll go into the junk jar as well. I got the Fonz. I found a Fonzie pin. We all love the Fonz from Happy Days. We have a pocket mirror with a very, like, 1910s looking lady on it. It is cracked on the back, but again, this is just another junk jar item. There was another one there, and the image didn't really appeal to me as much as this one did. I got a, I got a horse pin here. It's all shiny and shimmery, got the red eyes. There isn't a marking on it, so I'm not exactly sure how old it is. But I thought it was neat, and I'm sure somebody else will too. Hmm. <laughs> this is a little risque, but I thought it was funny. Let's make whoopee! I also got this really cool Between the Little Cigars Axe Tin. 
Let me show you guys the inside here real quick. If I can open it. Look at that. It says, between the acts, big cigar pleasure when time is short. Puff lightly. You need not inhale to enjoy them. So I thought that was really cool. I found this little bag of figures. And again, I will open these at the end of the haul and share them with you. But I don't really know what they are. They have a little circle on them, but I, they're really like thin, not thin plastic, but almost like cake topper plastic, if that makes sense. So I thought those were neat. Those were actually 75% off. I did pick up some salt and pepper shakers. We got some piggies. Those are really, really cute. Uh, Mama and Papa Piggy. We have this uh, mailman and mailbox set. I thought that was really neat. And these were these two and the froggies. Those were, oh, I'm not showing those very well, am I? But they're really, really cute. These were in a booth that were 50% off, so I thought that the price was well worth it. And same with the briefcase and the hat those also came out of that booth with 50% off, so I had to pick those up. So I did pick up a 1971 reproduction tray of the 1910 Hamilton King Girl. I did get that for $3.99. I was really happy to get that for that price because reproductions don't hold the same value as originals. And plus, I like to use these as educational materials. So if you all don't know, I've been doing some videos on my channel about the different Coca-Cola trays, the reproductions, what to look for in the repros versus the originals. I've got a few of them out already if you want to watch them. But I will be doing one on the 1910 girl. There will be some pretty significant differences between this one and the reproduction, or the original, excuse me. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I also found this adorable Christmas piggy bank. I think that this is made by Christ. I could be very wrong. Christ or Norcrest. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it is super, super cute. And look, the piggy's got lashes. Well, barely. Rhinestone eyes. There is some crazing to it. It's got the original stopper, which is kind of messed up. But even still, great, great piece. Alrighty, so now we're looking at the Valentines real quick. This one's really cute. It says, Help wanted, male, a kind and loving gal with plenty of S.A. would like a regular guy to be her Valentine. I'm not exactly sure what S.A. stands for at the moment while I'm filming this, but if you all have any idea, please let me know. <laughs> I think this is one that stands up because there's a little flap at the bottom. Of course, I had to get one with a bunny on it. I've opened my heart. You for me, you for me. I'll let you, or to let you in, be my valentine, I'm for you. That's really cute. You all know I can't resist things that are nautical, so when I saw this one with a sailor boy on it, Valentine Ahoy! Had to grab that one. This one is just funny because it says, Don't be a donkey. Don't be an ass. Be my valentine. This is actually not a valentine, but I thought it was really cool anyway. It's a piece of advertising. It was for Schoeninger Pianos, which was a place that was local here. But it's just got a really neat look to it. Very Victorian. I just, I couldn't leave that. So here are a close-up of those little mini figures that came in that bag. I almost want to say that they probably go on the, like a, maybe a, a train set or something like, you know, one of the scale model train sets, all painted with different colors. Some of them are just plain, like the color of the plastic. This guy is sitting down. I have no idea. So yeah, they're really interesting. Like I said, I think they're probably figures that came with like scale model toys back in the day. That's just my best guess. But they were interesting enough. 
and I decided to go ahead and pick them up. Alrighty, and the next place that I visited is literally just right up the road from this first place. So all I do is I just pull out of there, and then I'm at a light at an intersection, I just, and then I go straight down the road a little bit past our Goodwill, and then it's literally right there. So I spent $50.67 here. This isn't all of it. There are some postcards that I really, really liked that, of course, I will be going through with you all. So this I actually got in a booth that was half off. It is a butterfly napkin holder. I assume that it probably had salt and pepper shakers that go on the sides because they're very, very wide. But I liked the colors, and I know that spring is coming, so I went ahead and picked this up. I'm going to clean it a little bit, maybe see if a magic eraser removes some of the scuffing and dirt. And I'm sure somebody would love to have that for springtime. If you did watch the shop with me, if you didn't, I will go ahead and link it in the description box below. I did find a really nice piece of crackle glass, this blue. I could not leave this one. And if you guys saw the shop with me, you did see I paid $5.85 for it. So that is awesome. Also, if you watched the shop with me, you saw that I picked up these really awesome Villeroy and Bach Zodiac bowl. I think they're bowls. I said they were plates. They're bowls, actually. Like, really shallow bowls. And I think I'm going to try selling these together. Um, I paid... Uh, you guys saw, I paid $6 a piece for them. I love the RAM. The RAM is so cool. So I think I'm probably going to list both of those maybe for $35 to $40. We shall see. I'll probably have them listed by the time you guys see this video. And then this is really cool. This is a, a Native American and he's in a canoe. Not sure who he's made by. He was only $3. But he was there the last time. I didn't buy him. And I just thought he was really neat. So like I said, I did pick up some postcards. Um, so this side is all like holidays and such. I can't wait to show you guys these. These are from the World's Fair from about 30, I think from 33 to about 1940 are what those range from. So let's go through these real quick because I know that these can take up a lot of time. So we've got a hearty Christmas greetings. This one is dated 1912. This is really cute. This I don't think this is a postcard, though. It says, Sincerest wishes for years and years of happiness. Happy birthday. Oh, it is a postcard. Never been used. May the joy of Easter abide with you and radiate happiness all the year through. Also unused. Embossed. I forgot there were some greeting cards in here, too. Look at this one. Merry Christmas wishes. See if I can open it up. Unused. Sorry about that. This one has got a very 30s, 40s look to it. With the silver and the red and the black. That's just a card. This one says, Greetings. Happiness speed the new year for you. Postmarked 1920. I send my love by mail. 1910. This one I think would be great for Valentine's Day. A token of friendship. That one does not have a postmark on it, but it is embossed. Oh, it says December 30th up there, but it doesn't really help us. This is really cool. You can tell this is, <coughs> excuse me, turn of the century. Postmark 1910. We got this one. Also embossed. I don't think this one has a postmark on it, but it's still really great. Love, love, love this St. Patty's Day one. That one I don't even think has a postage date on it either. This is a New Year's postcard. Look at the glitter on there. You can definitely tell that's that old glitter. Uh, 
This one is probably my favorite because look at how bright and shiny those colors are. This one is postmarked 1911. This is one of those embossed ones. But look at that. So stinking amazing. Alrighty, so the last bunch of postcards, like I mentioned, are from the World's Fairs. Going from about 1934 to about 1940, I just really liked the images of the buildings from back in the day. This one's for the Chicago World's Fair, the Buick building. Be, oh, the, I guess it's the, the General Motors building, I should say, because there's Chevrolet, Oldsmobile, Buick, and Frigidaire. Oh, Frigidaire's not a car company, but yeah. So this one is postmarked 1934. Look at the bright, vivacious colors of this linen postcard. For 1939, it says, Where stars will shine, New York World's Fair, 39 at night. Look at that. That is just amazing. This is also for the World's Fair of 39. This one is the World's Fair Music Hall. Like I said, I just love the bright colors of these postcards. I just couldn't leave them. They range from about, I think, 50 cents to about $2. This is where most of the money went from that uh, that trip. I forgot to show you guys the back. Look at these. Look at the font of the lettering and everything. It's very deco. This one is for the uh, Ford Motor Company's Road of Tomorrow exhibit. I think this one is from, oh, this one's from 1940. Still really cool, though. This is the Food Products and Agricultural Building, and it's a night scene. We've got the Chrysler Building. This one, I think, is unmarked, so I don't know what year it's from. Oops. And then we have the Palestine exhibit, the Jewish Palestine exhibit for the World's Fair. Look at the sphere and the pyramid. Katie, I know, likes this one. It says General Electric and it's got the lightning bolt. She's got a thing for them lightning bolts. I don't know what it is and she doesn't either, but she just loves them. This one is probably my favorite of all of them. Look at that. That's another linen postcard. We've got the Trilon and the Parasphere for the Newark, Newark. The New York World's Fair, and this one is from 1940. How stinking cool is that postcard? I saw that in the big old box that they had, and I scooped it up big time. Since the next Peddler Mall is right next to a Salvation Army, I decided to go ahead and check out what was there. So I got eight of these Southern Comfort I think they're made by Libby, if I'm not mistaken, glasses. In total, I will say, since the tags are on there, I spent $4 for them. And I looked them up in store to see what they were going for, and a set of eight sold for $55. And these are all in very good condition. So I was really happy to grab those. Alrighty. So I got this really awesome Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs coffee mug. It says Walt Disney Productions on the bottom, made in Japan, and it's even got an original sticker for $1.25. I don't know that there's anything that you can buy at Disney World for $1.25 anymore, but that was just a really good find, and that will be up for grabs at my live sale on Saturday. I also picked up this Wheat Gravy Boat by Pyrex. I'm not sure if this is something that people are interested in, and I say that because I know the wheat pattern is not the most desirable. I know there are people out there who like it, but it's not, like, it's not, you know, uh, butter print or, you know, snowflakes or anything like that, but maybe somebody likes this for fall, or heck, if they have boho and they use these colors all year, it'd be great for them. So it is marked Pyrex on the bottom, made in U.S., so this is probably from the 70s. Then I found this really awesome deco-looking plate. It's green. It's ceramic. I cannot say for sure if it is Fiesta Ware, but I really loved the color, and I thought that would be a really neat 
piece to display in a kitchen. So I will probably be holding on to that. Same with this hobbyist fish. I usually don't buy hobbyist pieces, but this one was really well done, can't you tell? Now, it looks like somebody maybe a long time ago touched it up because it got chipped in the kiln when they were firing it, but you can't even really tell. Look, at, That would just be so cool on a wall. I'm not sure if I will be keeping this or selling it either, but um, as we speak, I am leaning more towards keeping it, but you never know. I always hold on to something for a while, and then when I am ready to move it, I will part with it. Alrighty, and the last place that I visited on this day, I spent $54.08. So let's go ahead and check out what I got. So I got this really awesome bendable Frankenstein for, um, it's from 1980, so it's not terribly old, but it's about, it's over 40 years old and it's in good shape. I do collect vintage Halloween pieces. I do prefer the stuff from the 60s and back, but this guy is pretty cool. So he's going to stay with me and go with all my vintage Halloween stuff. This is a really nice um, crackle glass piece. It does have cadmium in the bottom, as you can see. Hand blown. It seems a little rough where the handle is, but you know when they apply those handles and they have to break it off, it can be a little sharp. So I think that's what that's from and that's not damaged like from somebody nicking it. So that'll be up for grabs. This is really cool. And Scott, I really hope you're not mad at me for this one. Because he saw this when we were, um, when he came here. And the booth that this was in was not running a sale. But the day that I went, they were running a 50% off sale. And I think this is a cigarette holder, if I'm not mistaken. It's got a mark. It says... From my perspective, it looks like it says Mamiyama, Japan. So this was probably a domestic use cigarette holder or cigarette box. Like, picture Myrna Loy taking a cigarette out of here for William Powell in the Thin Man movies and giving it to him. So please don't hate me. Then I got this lovely lady here. She's a Shafford, Japan figurine, and she looks like a housewife. There's her marking, Shafford, Japan... Again, this came out of the same booth that was 50% off, so I got her for a really good deal. I haven't decided if I'm going to be selling her or not. I just, I think she's great and she would look great in a vintage kitchen. But we shall see. This is a really interesting planter. I have not seen this one before. This is the tragic, I forget the name of it, it's a theater thing, tragic um mask planter and it is made in the u.s it says it right there i think it could be shawnee but so many companies issued stuff with just usa on it but again it was in the booth that was 50 percent off so i went ahead and got this because i thought it was really really cool and i was amazed that this booth was on sale at 50 percent because usually it's not it's more like 10 20 percent of this booth didn't even have a sale going on at all last few times i'd been so i guess they were looking to downsize their booth or just downsize inventory so i got a really good price i got this for a really good price now i did save the best for last and people please don't hate me i think i will probably end up keeping it because it is just super super awesome so, drum roll, please. It is this blue-footed bowl with silver overlay. Now, I'm not usually a fan of silver overlay stuff because it's kind of intricate and formal, but I absolutely love this design because it's got a snowflake, or what it looks to be a snowflake pattern on it. Absolutely, absolutely amazing piece of glass. And again, this came out of the booth that was 50% off. So I got it for what I think is a really good deal. Like I said, it's a silver overlay is usually not my thing, but this is just absolutely amazing and would be awesome to have out during wintertime. 
I love that look of the snowflake. Just so neat and very different. I absolutely love it. So folks, that is everything that I picked up from my shopping trip to all the different indoor flea markets that I have in town. Let me know down below in the comment section, what were your favorite items? Would you have picked up what I found? And I will see you all in my next video. Have a great one.